Time to Walk is Apple's audio exercise, designed for Apple Watch. It's exclusive to Apple Fitness Plus subscribers, usually, but this week's episode is available to anyone, for free. It's because it's a special edition, with a royal guest, His Royal Highness Prince William, Duke of Cambridge. Here's an exclusive review, before it goes live on Monday. Over a period of 30 or 40 minutes, a guest talks about their life, with three stories, followed by three songs they have chosen that have significant meaning to them. As I've written about before, the intimacy of the experience comes from the fact that both you and the guest are doing the same thing, taking a walk, and it's just their voice in your ear. In this case, Prince William is in the U.K., walking through the private Sandringham estate in Norfolk, enjoying the peaceful reflectiveness he finds he gets on a walk. Repeatedly, he talks about the importance of mental health, which he feels is not something we're told about enough, certainly not compared to the emphasis on physical health. One example of this comes when he talks about his time as a search and rescue helicopter pilot for air ambulance. On one occasion they were called to the scene of an accident where a child had been hit by a car. They flew him to ambulance quickly. But in the coming weeks, he realized he had a strong emotional reaction, and recognized that being able to talk about the event was crucial. There's a lighter tone when he recounts a story at a charity concert for a homeless charity, where he found himself unexpectedly singing with John Bon Jovi and Taylor Swift. Unlike many celebrity stories, it's not about the name dropping, and is very funny. But the most moving moments are when he talks about his mother, Princess Diana, and her profound effect on him and his mother when they were growing up. His reluctance to go back to boarding school is balanced by the journey there, when he and Prince Harry would be singing at the top of their voices, and so were Princess Di and even the security detail in the car, in what he described as a great family moment, then there's the time she took him to a homeless shelter, so he could see what a less privileged life was like. His simple but empathetic description of this is also very touching. Other priorities for the prince are conservation and he relates his teenage experiences in Kenya, working to earn his keep on a conservation ranch, 